Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Dave Jeffrey Camposano. Our topic for the discussion today is all about geometric sequence. What is geometric sequence? Geometric sequence is a sequence in which a term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a constant number called the common ratio. So, tandaan natin sa arithmetic, ang, ang operations na involve are addition and subtraction. In geometric, the operations involved are multiplication and division. So, the nth term of a geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub 1 will be the first term, a sub n will be the nth term, and r will be the common ratio. Then, for the geometric series, the formula for the sum of the first n terms in the geometric sequence is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R where S sub n is the sum. Kasi nandun na rin naman sa taas yung legend nung natitira. Okay? Let us try to answer the following problems. So, for number 1, find the 10th term of the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, and so on. So, ang hinahanap natin yung pang sampu sa geometric sequence natin na to. So, gagamitin natin formula ito, the n term of the geometric sequence. So, that is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Ayan, no? So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, ililista lang natin lahat yung given natin. So, a sub 1, the first term, that is 2 then R, R is the common ratio. Okay? So, succeeding term divided by the preceding term. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, that is the common ratio. R is equal to 2. Then N, the number of term, that is 10. Okay? Then just simply substitute. So, we have A sub 10 is equal to 2 times... Uh, uh, 2 raised to um, 10 minus 1. Then, we have a sub 10 is equal to 2 times um, 2 raised to 9. What is 2 raised to 9? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 2, 5, 6, 5, 1, 2. So, a sub 10 is equal to 2 times 5, 1, 2. Then, 2 times uh, 512, a sub 10 is equal to 1,024. So, ang ating pang 10th term will be 1,024. Next, number 2. Find R, so the common ratio, in a geometric sequence if the first term is 1 third and the 8th term is 128 over Three. So, ang hinahanap natin is common ratio. So, same formula pa rin yung gagamitin natin. Um, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, listan natin yung mga given natin. So, uh, n natin, uh, a sub 1 is 1 third. That is the first term. Then, r is missing. Then, a sub n or n natin is 8 because that is the 8th term. Okay? So, this is a sub 8. Ayan. So, a sub 8 natin, yung last term natin, that is 128 over 3. So, substitute lang natin. So, we have um, 128 over 3 is equal to 1 third times r raised to um 8 minus 1. Yan, no? Then, um, i-substitute na natin. Simplify na natin yan. So, paano ba natin isi-simplify yan, guys? So, di-divide natin siya by uh, 1 third. So, this is cancel. So, we have um, 128 over 3 divided by one third is equal to R raised to 7. 
Okay? So, pag nagdi-divide tayo, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, 128 over 3 times 3 over 1 is equal to R raised to 7. So, cancel natin yan. Um, 128 is equal to R raised to 7. To solve for R, we are going to get the 7th root. Okay? 7th root. So, cancel to. What is the 7th root of 128? That is 2. R is equal to 2. So, the common ratio will be 2. Next, uh, number 3. What term is 2,916 in the geometric sequence for 12, 36, and so on? So, ang hinahanap naman natin dito is N. Okay, ganun pa rin. Kunin lang natin yung mga given natin. No? So, we have a formula natin. A sub N is equal to um, A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. So, yun. Uh, A sub N natin, yung pinakadulong term natin, that is 2916. Um, ang A sub 1 natin is 4. Then, ang R natin, common ratio is 12 divided by 4, 3. 36 divided by 12 is 3. So, common ratio is 3. Substitute lang natin yung given. So, we have uh, 2, 9, 1, 6 is equal to first term natin, 4 times uh, R. R is 3. So, 3 raised to N minus uh, 1. Okay? Then, yan na. Um... Di-divide muna natin siya by 4. So, ang mangyayari dyan is uh, 2916 divided by 4. That is 729. Is equal to 3 raised to n minus 1. So, sa exponential natin, kailangan, uh, pwede silang maging same base. Eh. So, yung 729, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite as um, 3 raised to 6 is equal to 3 raised to n minus 1. So, we can now disregard the base. Focus na lang tayo sa exponent natin. So, 6 is equal to n minus 1. So, lipat lang natin dito. So, n is equal to 6 plus 1. Or, for the, our final answer, n is equal to 7. Okay? So, that is how we are going to do the number 3. Next, number 4. Find the sum of the first 10 terms in the geometric sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, and so on. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is sum. So, meaning this is series. So, ang gagamitin nating formula, itong nasa baba. S sub n is equal to a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r. Okay? So, kunin lang natin yung mga given natin. Um, a sub 1, that is uh, 3 r that is 2 then n, that is 10. Okay? Substitute lang natin sa given natin. So, we have uh, s sub 10 is equal to uh, 3 quantity 1 minus uh, 2 raised to 10 all over 1 minus 2. So, S sub 10 is equal to 3 times uh, 1 minus 1,024 all over negative 1. S sub 10 is equal to 3 times negative 1,023 all over negative 1. Yan na. So, S sub 10 is equal to negative 3,069 all over negative 1. So, for the final answer, the sum of that uh, first 10 terms will be 3,000 69 Ito na yung ating final answer 
Number 5. Insert two geometric means between 3 and 192. So magsisingit daw tayo ng dalawa sa gitna. Kung i-visualize natin 'yan, ito 3 then ito yung dalawang nawawala natin 192. So para makuha natin yung nawawala, yung nasa gitna, ang kailangan lang natin diyan is yung common ratio. So gamitin natin yung formula kanina that is uh, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Yan, kasi meron naman tayong last term. A sub n natin is 192. Ang a sub 1 natin, that is 3. Then ang n natin, that, uh, that is 4. So ang nawawala natin is r, the common ratio. Substitute na natin sa formula. So we have um, 192 is equal to 3 times r raised to um, 4 minus uh, 1. Then for 192, um, divide muna natin siya by 3. Para makuha natin yung r, no? Yan. So 192 divided by 3, that is 64. Is equal to r uh, cube. So 64 uh, cube root lang natin yan or that is equal to 4 cube is equal to r cube get the cube root so r will be equal to 4 this is the common uh, ratio then multiply lang natin 3 times 4 that is um, 3 times 4 that is 12 then 12 times 4 that is 48 then 48 times 4 that is 190 2. So, ang missing term natin dyan or yung two geometric means na hinahanap natin are uh, 12 and 48. Number 6. Last problem na natin to. No? A piece of spoiled meat has some bacteria in it. The number of bacteria increases 5 times every R. If the number of bacteria is 1,000 on the first R, Complete the sequence until the 5 hours. What is the total number of bacteria at the end of 5 hours? Okay? So, uh, yung sequence natin, kukompletuhin daw natin, no? Tapos hanapin natin yung um, number of bacteria at the end of 5 hours. So, meron daw 1,000 bacteria sa unang oras. Pero, nag-multiply daw siya ng 5 times. Kada oras. Okay? So, lista lang natin yung given natin. Um, formula muna natin A sub n is equal to A sub 1 R raised to n minus 1 So ang given natin dyan uh, 1000 This is A sub 1 R 5 times So R is equal to 5 Then n is equal to uh, 5 Pero iisa-isahin muna natin kasi kailangan natin kompletuhin yung sequence so, A sub 2 na tayo. Kasi ito na yung A sub 1 natin eh. A sub 2 is equal to 1,000 times R 5 raised to 2 minus 1. Yan na. No. So, A sub 2 is equal to 1,000 times 5. So, A sub 2 is equal to 5 thousand. So sa pangalawang oras dahil nagmo-multiply nga siya ng 5 times, meron ng um uh, 5000. So yun lang, times lang ulit natin ng 5. So 5000 times 5, ito na yung A sub 3 natin, that is 25,000. Kasi kailangan daw nating kumpletuhin yung sequence, no? So ito yung unang oras. Ito yung pangalawa. Ito yung pangatlo. So, lagyan natin, uh, ito yung ating uh, A sub 3. Tapos, yung pang-apat, times ulit natin by 5. So, 25,000 times 5, that is 125,000. So, meron tayong 125,000 after uh, 4 hours. Ito yung ating um, A sub 4. Then, for the pip, R. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is 125,000 times 5. 
that is equal to uh, 625,000. So, meron tayong um, 625,000 na bacteria after 5 hours. No? So, nasagot lahat ng hinahanap natin. Complete the sequence. So, ito, first R, second R, third, fourth, and fifth. Then, what is the total number of bacteria at the end of 5 hours? The total number of bacteria at the end of 5 hours will be 625,000. Okay? So, that's all for our lesson for today. I hope na natuto kayo sa discussion natin about geometric sequence. Okay? So, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.